I'm Stacey Bratcher, your Kearney Chamber Executive Director, and this is Take Note to Kearney, sponsored by the Kearney Trust Company, where they believe in the power of community and shopping locally. Today, we are here with Christina Blanton with Connected Families Counseling. Mm -hmm. Christina, thank you for being with us. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so glad to be here. Me too. So tell me, what is Connected Families Counseling? What do we do there? Yeah, so we are a mental health private practice here in Kearney, and we focus on individual counseling, providing that quality care that we really need, right? So we want to improve the mental health in our local community, and that's really our focus is getting that individual individual therapy and really making sure people feel welcomed they get that help that they need pro to process what they need to um, to help with their healing journeys absolutely and you yeah. specialize in children yes yeah, so I work um, I focus on children and adolescents and I meet with women also oh, so women. Okay. yes so I'm a registered play therapist and then we also have two therapists on our staff as well and we have one who strictly meets with adults um, so it's great. Her office okay. is very nice and calming. And we have another therapist who meets just with kids and teens. And she's got a lot of fun activities in there, like a sand tray that they can play in. So it's oh a lot of fun. Yeah. Wow. So do the women get to do the play therapy if too? If they want to. If they want to. <laughs> right. It could be fun. Yes. <laughs> so mental health, mental health right. has been a buzzword for so a few years. Right. Um, and I think people maybe just, they use the word, but don't really think about what it means or what its implications are. Right. Can you share with us? Yes, that is a heavy question. <laughs> <laughs> I, know. I mean, I know everybody's mental health is suffering these days. You know, we're not going to mention any political situations going on, <laughs> whichever side of the fence you fall on. There things are go. really tense. They are. They're very tense. Yes. And it can take a toll on our mental health and our well being. And then that can affect all the relationships that you have around you. So our mental health plays such a vital role in everything. It plays a role in your work, uh, mm -hmm. relationships again with your family, with your education. Because, you know, I work with a lot of kids and teens and it's very hard for them to go to school to focus on their education whenever they have these mental health crises going on where they're struggling maybe with self-harm, suicidal ideation, maybe they feel really lonely and it's really hard to focus on getting it. How can I learn? if I'm struggling with my mental health because I've got bigger issues than education. So focusing on that mental health and that has opened up, you know, it's really cool to see that transformation process with clients where their mental health starts improving and then you start to see their relationships with their parents start to improve right. and their relation, right. like their schoolwork starts to improve. So it's really neat because mental health encompasses so much and that we don't even really take notice of like how much yes. mental health plays a role in right. our life right yeah and even also when I work with a lot of women whenever um, we're focusing on their mental health their relationships with their family improve their quality of life improves so it's really neat to get to be a part of that process to help improve their mental health right yeah. right so what kind of education do you have to have to be a mental health therapist, a counselor, what, yes, whatever a lot. the title is. Right. <laughs> so you have to have a bachelor's degree, you have to have a master's degree, and then you also have to have two years of post-graduate therapy work okay. before you can be officially licensed and you have to have a certain amount of hours. And then to be a registered play therapist, you have to have an extra 150 hours of play therapy training. Wow. Which, yeah, those trainings are a lot of fun because you get to play with toys a lot. And so, like, <laughs> it's, it's, it's interesting. And they fed me a lot of chocolate. So, oh, I hey. don't know if that was good or bad. I don't know. Toys but and it, chocolate. Right. Nice. It worked out great. <laughs> yes. That's great. What are you most proud of in your practice? So I really love, so the therapist that I've hired on and myself, it's that attitude where you can come in and you can be yourself. You can just mm -hmm. feel like you can come in and relax. You're not going to be judged. You're not going to be shamed. You're there to work on what you're there to work on and you're accepted as you are. So there's uh, a famous quote that is along the lines of when I'm accepted as I am, that I'm willing to change. And that's the attitude that we have of just, wow. we're accepting them as they are. We don't have that judgment engine because it's hard to go to therapy, you know, mm -hmm. to pick up that phone and say like, yes, like I need, I need help. I need support. Like something's off. Something's not right. It's right. It's so hard to ask for that help. And they're making that step. And as the therapists who are there, we're saying, hey, we see you in your pain. We're not going to judge you for it. We're not going to shame you for it. We're going to walk alongside of you with you in this journey. 
And then, you know, we're also, we also have a lot of fun. Like, so it's not uncommon to hear people laughing a lot because, you know, it's, That's we're dealing good. with hard things, but right. it doesn't have to be intense all the right. time. So having right. a lot of humor with it too is, it, it's a lot of fun. That's fantastic. Yes. Where are you located? So we are on the same block as Slavinsky's. There's actually, yes, it's great. <laughs> so uh, there's a second story in that little strip mall right there. Right. There's a second story. It's kind of hidden, which is it nice. Is. It is. Yeah, it's nice because if you want therapy, you know, like we're in a small town. We don't always want to, We don't always want everybody to know our business. We exactly. don't want. We don't always want. So I like it because you can kind of sneak in. You go upstairs. There's other businesses there, you know. So I like that it's kind of hidden. Yes. Um, but it's on the same block as Slavinsky's, um, Mojo's Coffee's right there too. Right. You yeah. know, you got the Mexican restaurant right yes. there. So it's nice. Um, we we really enjoy it there. Yeah. You can get your hair done, your nails done, right. and all, go get your counseling. All of the stuff. <laughs> get get the health fix all over. <laughs> So what separates you from other counseling opportunities? Right. So there's a lot of great counseling practices out there. But for, I know for us, I'll speak for us, is focusing on that quality care. We really emphasize quality. You're not going to be just a number to us. We really want you to get that healing that you need. And we understand that everybody's healing journey looks different. So we're not going to treat you the same way we treated the person who was in session before you. Even if you guys might look similar, we're going to look at you as an individual and we're not going to be like, you know, get in, get out, like onto the next person. We really want to focus on you and the care that you need because whenever you're there, it's your time. It's not our time. Nice. And so really focusing on you as the client and making sure it's a comfortable experience for you and you're getting what you need. I like that. How yeah. long is a typical session? Uh, most sessions are 53 minutes. Oh, exactly. 50? Right. right. <laughs> yes. Okay. Right. It's billing codes. <laughs> <laughs> for so uh, kids, like younger kids, we usually around 45 and then they're not the way we do kids is kids are not the same as adults because kids don't sit down and they don't say, oh, I had a difficult time today. My sibling <laughs> was terrible to me. Like, they don't sit down right. and say that. They play it out. And so sessions might be a little bit shorter just with their capacity. So uh, gotcha. with older teens and adults, it's generally 50, 53 minutes. Interesting. So. Now, are you from Kearney? Do you live in Kearney? No, I live in Kearney right now. Okay. I'm not okay. from Kearney, but I love the Kearney community. I think it's phenomenal. Um, there are so many wonderful people here, and I'm so grateful to be part of this community. And it's nice to work in, t in the same place that you practice, you yes. know, and you really get a feel for the culture, the community, right. and having that deep appreciation for, like, the values of Kearney. I really love that. Right. What are some of your places to visit in Kearney? Ooh, uh, Three Birdies is great. Absolutely. <laughs> right. Um, <laughs> Paisley Park is great for, the, you know, like the parks, like there's so much oh, I love. The parks are yes. great. Uh, yes. The parks are great for the kids and just, it's fun to go out there and see like all the families like playing together and just, um, I, I even see on other like Northland Kansas City Facebook pages of recommending Kearney Parks. Right. Because of the quality of them. Yes. And I love that our community values that family atmosphere. I love yeah. that. Perfect. Yes. Perfect. Okay, so how do people get a hold of you? Yes. Okay, so they can call our phone number. It's on our website. So both. I guess you need both. Please give us both. Right. So Connected <laughs> Families Counseling. Um, our phone number is 816-635-0275. And if you select option one on that, it'll actually take you to a live answering service. So a lot of therapy practices you're calling, you're getting voicemails all day. It is so hard to get a hold of any therapy practice. And I guess that's another thing that sets us apart is we are very easy to get a hold of. We want, because it's, it's hard to ask for help. Again, it's hard yes. to ask for help. And we don't want you to have to leave a bunch of voicemails right. and then wait days to find out that, hey, like we, if we have an appointment or not. And sometimes we get calls where they've called 13 other places, literally 13 other places. And we're the first people to call them back. Oh, which is, wow. it's awful. Um, yeah. So, so wow. 816-635-0275, you select option one, you'll get a live answering service. Um, they'll take down your information. We have an admin who will call you back that same day if it's before four and she will get you scheduled. So we have appointments available right now. So if you call her right now, 
Um, if this is before four o'clock, then you know <laughs> you can get you can get scheduled within the next couple of weeks. Okay, so give us really that great. phone number one more time slowly. Yes, sorry. 816-635-0275. Excellent. Well, I can't believe we are out of time already. Okay, yeah. I think we could talk about this forever. Yes. But thank you for being with Absolutely. us today. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it so much. Yes. So I'm Stacy Bratcher with the Carney Chamber of Commerce, and this is Take Note Carney, sponsored by the Carney Trust Company, supporting the Carney community since 1882. Thank you for watching today.